Well, it's set to become Australia's most expensive building. It's Adelaide's new women's and children's hospital being built by the South Australian government at an eye-watering cost of $3.2 billion. Quite possibly the most expensive hospital in the world, as I said, $3 million per bed. And that's just the cost. Of course, Adelaide residents are concerned about the timeline to build the hospital, heritage overlay issues and impact on local parks. Former Senator Rex Patrick, now candidate for Adelaide's Lord Mayor, has called for an inquiry into the hospital and he joins me now. Rex Patrick, thank you for joining me on this issue. I am gobsmacked by the spend and the risk with the build. Why are you calling for an inquiry? Well, there's a couple of reasons, but, but first and foremost, this is a massive project for South Australia. All we've seen publicly is a 32-page document that explains uh, the plan. The Parliament has to look at this in great detail, looking at cost, looking at schedule, looking at clinical outcomes and looking at the heritage issues and the parklands issues, which were ignored in the review team. What is it with uh, big buildings in Adelaide? I mean, the last hospital, I think it was started in the Gillard era, but opened in the Abbott government. It was one of the most expensive in the country as well. It blew out uh, both in terms of cost and time. What's with construction in your state? And, and, and that's one of the reasons we need a parliamentary inquiry. The What is called the new Royal Adelaide Host Hospital was... Uh, had significant blowouts uh, and significant schedule delays. And what that did was sap up money that would otherwise have gone to health. And that's led us to some of the problems that we have now with healthcare and, and uh, significant ramping in the state. So uh, again, it's it would be unusual if uh, a project like this was not examined by a parliament and best to examine it at the start where you can catch out errors which become much more costly to fix at the end than they do at the start. You've not long left federal politics. Why would you want to go back into local politics of all things? Why do you want to be mayor? Oh, look, it's an interesting uh, question. Uh, when I left the, the Senate, uh, I, was, uh, I was not thinking of running as Lord Mayor, but uh, people actually asked me to, some people in the parliament. I've had a good look. And we've got a dysfunctional council at the moment uh, that uh, isn't performing well. Uh, the, the city residents of Adelaide have lost their confidence uh, in the city council. And that needs to be changed because it's such an important uh, council for South Australia. Uh, it is the heartland of uh, South Australia. It's the entry point for South Australia. And uh, a significant part of its GDP, about 18 per cent, actually comes from uh, uh, the city of Adelaide. So. It's, it's a, a very interesting role and there's lots to be fixed uh, in relation to the current council. Just a quick one. Put your old uh, submariner hat on. We're told these eight nuclear subs will get as part of the AUKUS deal will cost us around $100 billion. Uh, makes your hospital seem a bit cheap, doesn't it? Well, uh, ASPI have actually... Uh, suggested it might be $170 billion and they were actually wrong uh, by, about the French contract. They underestimated what that cost was. Uh, Australians need to look really carefully at this. We're going to get eight submarines for $170 billion. That will arrive in 2040. Mm. Now, Richard Miles the other day said that uh, he, he was uh, you know, concerned about delays, concerns about cost. Yet, yet continuing with this program seems to be uh, contrary to, to his concerns. Well, we will watch that close as I'm sure you will. You've got plenty of experience. Rex Patrick, good luck with the mayoral race. We'll speak to you again.